Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 13th, but you know the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? What is coming in? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? <sighs> Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness. What a great start. This is a new spark, a sudden desire, instant attraction. It's a very fertile time. It's a time of growth. It's exciting. So this is an exciting new opportunity. Just go for it. This is a fresh start. A new vision. Uh, that can grow. It can grow. It looks like it's a very hot. Okay, it's hot. Something is very hot. There could be a hot connection here. There is, it's definitely a match. Okay, this is a match. On fire. And something is being lit up. So, this is, this is, uh, it's too hot. You, you can't, it's so hot you can't even touch it. Okay. So this is a very uh Oh my god, it's very hot, it's very passionate. Exciting. <laughs> wow, this could be a new flame. Okay, this is a new flame. A new spark. There could be this could even be a new drive, okay? Or a new vision. Whatever it is, it's exciting. Oh my God, son of a bitch, I guess it is hot. It definitely is hot, 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 hot. Look at that passion, it is definitely passionate. This is sudden, a very sudden opportunity. This is like, uh, this is definitely a sudden attraction, okay? This has happened very unexpectedly, it's on fire. Okay, it is definitely on fire. This is meant to be. This is a soulmate connection. This is kindred spirits. It's a perfect union. But the lovers is a card of choice, and this is also a card of consequences. So somebody is going to have to make a choice. This attraction is very hot. It is very spicy. It is very uh, exciting. It is. It looks like there's a lot of passion. Yep. Shared values, falling in love, there's a sexual connection, a very sexual connection here. This is also a healing love. This is, this is a match made in heaven. This is meant to be. So this is truly meant to be. This is, and it's happened very suddenly. So it's a sudden opportunity. This happens, it comes out of the blue. It's so, it's like this is very passionate. You can't even, you can't touch this. It's so hot. It's sizzling. Sizzling. Interesting that I brought out the love sign for this reading. Ve unexpectedly. It's very unexpected. Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is overwhelmed. Work, work, work. We have a, somebody here that has a lot on their plate. Carrying a heavy load. May be very busy. Going from one place to another all the time. Making a delivery. Justice. Justice reversed. Now this is this is unfair. We could be dealing with a Libra. We could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, doesn't have to be. But justice is unfair. There's an injustice. Somebody's not happy. They're not happy with the outcome. They're not happy with what is happening. They're not happy with their work. Perhaps maybe they're overwhelmed. They're trying to do too much. They're not happy with whatever they're doing. So this is not happy with the outcome. Not happy with what is happening. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. There's somebody could be being dishonest as well. Somebody may not be telling the truth about something. We got to, ooh, it doesn't have to be. It feels like there's a there's imbalance here. Somebody's got too much on their plate. 
they're trying to do too much and they're having a hard time balancing out perhaps whatever they're doing their work with love with this connection having a hard time growing the connection but the connection is there so it's definitely there the connection is on fire put it that way this is a perfect match this is a perfect match it really really is this is a match and this is a perfect union so this is a perfect match we have somebody here that is definitely overwhelmed this isn't fair there's a lack of balance right there is a lack of balance but it's eight of wands that's moving this is the rods of love this is good news arriving on triumphant wings you know things and messages going back and forth um, reciprocation there's there's going to be back and forth okay there's going to be reciprocation and this is this is being able to bring balance things were going to change well, something is going to happen something is going to change so things are about to move in a new direction and balance is going to come now this is receiving this is equal equality, you know, equal give and take. So somebody is going to be communicating with somebody who is going to uh, recipro reciprocate. This person is it's not going to be a one-sided situation. It's going to be an equally sided situation. Okay, somebody's going to be communicating with somebody that is perfect for them. This some you share values with this person. It's not going to be one-sided. It's perfect. It really, really, really is perfect. So I think there's going to be some some communication going back and forth. This is what you deserve, okay, because this is what you deserve. Um, there is somebody here that is very generous. They're willing to give. They're willing to do whatever it takes. Two of Wands reversed. Hmm. This, could, this has happened very, very suddenly. You didn't have time to prepare. Very suddenly. All of a sudden. Lack of preparation. That's what I feel. This is like all of a sudden you're at this decision point. Because this is a decision. It's, you're at this point where you, you have to make the decision. Do you want to give to this or not? Can you fit this into your schedule? Can you fit this into your schedule? Something is happening very fast. This is very fast movement. Can you bring balance to this? Can you can you give to both? Can you give to your work and give to this love connection? Can you? Can you fit it in? That is the question. Four of Swords. We have somebody here that is exhausted. They're exhausted. Um... They're overwhelmed. They got too much on their plate. They they do. They got too much on their plate that they're having a hard time balancing out this connection with uh, their job or their work. We have somebody here that is tired. Maybe they, you know they work and then they come home and they're so tired that they can't give it the energy that they want. But whoever it is that they're dealing with is going to uh, pick up. You know they're going to pick up. They're going to they're going to give. They're going to give what's lacking. That's what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Nine of Wands. Somebody is facing some s serious challenges. Definitely overwhelmed. Yeah, somebody here that's overwhelmed. They may be overwhelmed with their work. That's what I think it is. Whatever they're doing, they're overwhelmed. There's also, there could be an element of a fear, fear of change right here. This could be fear of change. Restricted. We definitely have somebody here that is restricted. They're being held back. And I think they're being held back by all the demands. I think they've got too many demands on their plate. They're definitely overwhelmed. They got this new connection. It's very clear, but they're having a hard time giving it what it needs to survive giving it the fuel to survive and that's it's like it's this isn't maybe it's just not the right time or something like that now this is being very very tired exhausted sleeping not communicating you know 
So somebody may need to communicate. There is going to be some communications. Things are happening because that wouldn't be here. Things are happening and it's happened very suddenly. Something has happened very, very suddenly. But this nine of wands is, we could have somebody here that is expecting trouble. You know? They're guarded. They have great personal fear. Eight. Somebody work, work, work. It's all about work, putting in effort. Somebody is, is, is working. They're working, 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 working. And I think that they are going to put in effort to make something work. Okay? We have somebody here that is exhausted. They're tired. Um, they're overwhelmed. They got too much on their plate. They're carrying some sort of baggage or they're carrying some sort of burden or they have too many demands. Okay? They're just overwhelmed. That Ten of Wands is overwhelmed. They're just busy, busy, busy. They're too busy. They got something that they need to do. Um, and it's sad. I mean, this is unfair. It's not fair. So something is not fair. This is an injustice. Somebody is too tired. They're too tired. They may be too tired to... Um, go after and to reciprocate but they want to reciprocate um, they want to put in effort this is about work the eight of pentacles this is putting in effort working really hard but feeling restricted because of their job somebody's job or whatever it is that they have on their plate is restricting them from uh, reciprocating or giving to a connection, a love connection, that ha whatever that is. But anyhow, I feel like um, this guy, he ha now he has that Ace of Wands in his hand. He's overwhelmed, but he wants this connection. He wants it. He wants it. Seven, he's gonna fight. He, he is that seven of wands. This is a fighter. This is somebody who accepts the challenge. He is going to fight for something. He's gonna fight off the competition. He's gonna fight against the crowd. He's gonna do whatever it takes to win. He is. I think his decision is he's going to make a decision to fight for what he wants. He knows what he wants. Again, he's got that ace of wands in his hands. He knows what he wants and he is going to protect it. He is. This is somebody who is not going to let go of what he, his match. He's not going to let go of this match that he has found. So he's going to put in effort. He is definitely going to be putting in effort and communicating or doing whatever it takes. But he's definitely overwhelmed. Okay, we have somebody here that is extremely overwhelmed. But, and he's facing a lot of challenges. He's facing challenges. I think one of his challenges, you know, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands, with the Ten of Wands. So we have this person that um, has already been through some sort of battle. They have come out on top. They want to stay on top. He wants this guy wants to stay on top. He's he's already won. Now he wants to stay on top. He's going to continue to stay on top. He's going to do whatever it takes to stay on top. He is, and so there is going this guy that is on top of the he's at the top of the list. He's going to do whatever it takes to stay at the top of the list. Okay, even though even if it's a, even if it puts more on his plate, he's going to do it. He's going to do whatever it takes to stay on top. So be prepared, whoever this guy is, he is a strong, strong, strong individual. And he is going to do whatever it takes to um, move this connection in the right direction. Okay, he's going to do whatever it takes. He feels the passion, he feels the connection. And even though right now uh, things are, you know, with that justice card reverse, things are unfair or things are not balanced and he may be tired and exhausted and over whatever, this, you know, um, he is going to communicate and do whatever it takes to keep it flowing in the right direction. Put it that way. Somebody's going to be receiving communication from somebody who doesn't want to lose them. You know, they're going to fight. They're going to do whatever it takes to prove. Okay. Um, <laughs>
page of cups. Oh my God, yes. So this is a this is a, this is an admirer. This is a welcome message of love. This is somebody who that is love struck that is going to express their feelings. They're following their heart. This is really, really, really good news. This is about love, okay? Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. They're going to be communicating a happy message to somebody. They are. They're going to follow their heart and they're going to open their heart and they're going to do whatever it takes. So there is going, this is definitely good news. Um, it's definitely a very fertile time. So if you are in the uh, years where you can bear children, there could absolutely be a pregnancy on the horizon here for some of you. Um, if you're an older person like me, then you probably don't want that and I don't see it happening. Um, this is, you know, but... I do see a lot of passion. I see a lot of hot, steamy passion. And I feel like um, this is a beautiful connection that is absolutely meant to be. I think that th it is overwhelming. I think that um, it was sudden. I think it's a very sudden situation that now you have to adapt. You have to uh, be able to balance out this this connection. And it's probably not... It's probably quite a challenge, but whoever this person is, is going to absolutely uh, do whatever it takes to keep the lead. Okay, this person going to do whatever they got to do to keep the lead. Um, so yeah, somebody's going to be receiving some really happy news and, and a love offer or, you know, this is love. The Page of Cups is about love. This is, this is, and these are the rods of love. And it's like this, this has, has sparked somebody's feelings of love. It has. It has opened them right up. It's it's like, oh my God, this is this is more than just sex. This is, you know, more than just sex. Good luck. <laughs>